Welcome to this video. Today we'll talk about extrusions and it's one of my favorite things to talk about. It's one of my favorite things to uh, have learned when I was learning SolidWorks. When I started going into three dimensions it made me feel like a real engineer. <laughs> so I'm really excited to uh, talk about extrusions today. I'll go ahead and start a new sketch. Let's say I'm going to start a part. <clears throat> um, I can model this slider in SolidWorks pretty easily but I'm going to make it a little bit more simple today to just talk about extrusions. Instead of it being round, I'll just make square edges. Um, but I'm going to model this slider in SolidWorks, and I will do it using extrusions. So let's get started. I'm just going to make a, uh, I'll select my front plane and control 8. And I'm going to make a line and make a simple rectangle. You can use the rectangle function if you want. I've always found it easier to just start going. So get some uh, dimensions on this let's say we want 2 by 0 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch and this I'll go 1 inch we are fully constrained so I will now extrude to do that I will say features and I'll click select this extruded boss base right here so it's saying yeah let's extrude out and it says from sketch plane there are a few other options but I almost always do sketch plane so for this video I'm just sticking to sketch plane uh, I sketched on my front plane here you can see I'm coming right off of that front plane sketch that I've made so now we choose a few things right here where it says D1 is the distance that it wants me to extrude it so I'm gonna say I want it to be extruded 12 inches. So I'm going to go 12 inches off of this plane. And right here I have a few options. It says blind, up to vertex, up to surface, offset from surface, up to body. These are all things that if I had another body I could extrude it relative to. Since I don't, my options are basically blind and mid plane. If I choose mid plane, then it extrudes it a total of 12 inches, 6 inches this way, and 6 inches this way. Midplane is actually one of the best ways to extrude, but for what I'm looking for, I'm going to go blind for this one. Um, if I go midplane, it's easy to mirror other features um, that I've extruded. Um, you, you can see my mirror tutorial here if you'd like to know more about mirroring features. Um, now, this gives me an option for direction two, so I, I can. Uh, extrude it 12 inches this way and let's say I want to extrude it 8 inches in the other direction then I can do in that second direction which is pretty cool right here we have a draft feature and draft will allow us to taper it off at an angle so I can say alright I want to draft it at an angle of 10 degrees or I want to draft it at an angle of 1 degree and it gives me a 1 degree draft on every side it's uh, very useful for uh, things like a casting process where you want to draft it so that it, your end product won't stick in a cast. And I can draft it outward as well so it gets bigger. And um, yes, so I can cover those two directions, but my slider won't be drafted. Next, I can do a thin feature if I want to. Let's say I want to model square tubing. Well, I can do an extruded cut, which I'll talk about in just a second, or I can thin feature it. So I can hollow it out, if you will. Notice I've got my, uh, let's see if I can get a good view here. I've got my thin feature, and I check that box. It adds material to the outside of my sketch. And I can say I want a square tube 0.25 inches thick. If I was extruding a circle, it would be a circular tube. If I was extruding a really crazy shape, it would thin it to that really crazy shape. But I can make it a quarter inch thick off the surface. And if I want it on the inside instead of the outside, I push this button and it can switch directions on me. Same thing um, for my extrude itself. If I want to extrude it the other direction, I click this button and it changes the direction. That's pretty much all of the uh, extrusions that you'll need to know to get making parts. So I'll click that green check and now we're extruded. Um, now I want to make another part for the slider. So I'm going to select any face that I want to. 
and push control 8 and I can push sketch and choose this face to sketch on and I'm ready to go so I'll push control 8 to score up again now I'm going to say make this little oh, I didn't sketch that quite right did I I've added this little line in here so I'll just trim it off trim now let's say that I want to cut this section all the way through I want to cut it out so that it's um, just has these two rectangular humps that I can slide along then I'll add some dimensions let's say I want it to be 0 0.5 inches thick and same on the other side and I want this to be a quarter inch thick and I'm fully constrained so I choose and it is important to fully constrain what you extrude too because you might need to modify the sketch so in this case instead of extruded by space this will add material I want to cut material out so I'm going to say extrude cut and the menu is pretty much the exact same except I have a few more options here I'm sketching on a plane that I'm going to cut through so I can blind or mid plane just like before but I can also say through all and that just says I want you to cut through everything I'm going to choose that and I have a slider which is pretty cool now if I want to add a hole on this slider I'll choose the face that I want to put a hole on and say control 8 and I will draw a circle. I'll use this circle. Perfect. Now notice I have my origin right here so I'll dimension where I want my circle to be in accordance with this origin. I'm going to say I want it six inches out and I want it centered on the origin so I can choose the center of this circle and I can choose my origin and say vertical and that will make sure that my circle will not move now let's say I want a circle that is a yeah, half inch in diameter. Now I'm fully constrained on my circle. So I will go to Features, Extrude Cut, and I will choose Through All. I can do Blind or Mid Plane or anything if I wanted to. And I'll just click that green check, and I have made a circle through my slider. Extruding is very simple and it is really fun to do. A few things that I would like to tell you before I close up um, to make it easy to change your view. If I, when I'm in my three dimensional mode, I can use my scroller on my mouse, that old scrolling wheel, to zoom in and out. I can push down on that scroller and move my mouse to change my view. And I can um, edit the features I want. Let's say I've made this great slider and I said, oh no, I want it 14 inches instead of 12. Well then I'll choose the face that I extruded from and I'll right click and I can say edit feature. And now I can type in 14, which is about perfect. If I wanted to make keep my hole in the center, I'll have to right click and um, edit the sketch. And I can edit the sketch um, to change the location. So I say 14 divided by 2 is 7 now. My hole is centered. And when I say exit sketch, it's automatically updated. Now this same principle applies to um, anything that I ever extrude. If I said I want my slider to be a different dimension, I can right click. I can say edit sketch. Now if I want to edit the length of the extrusion, I have to edit feature that changes anything to do with the extrusion itself but if I want to change the dimensions and I go to edit sketch and let's say I want it to be three inches wide then I'll go three inches wide and I can update this to be 1.5 inches so it's centered and I click the green box exit sketch and it automatically updates um, so these are a few fun things to do with extrusions and we can go we can add features to this in the future like with fillets where you can smooth the edges out and especially when we uh, solid model parts I notice I've got some really sharp edges right here and if I were to round this out I would increase the strength significantly 
Uh, so we'll talk about other features like fillets in a future video. You can find all of my video tutorials from a master directory here. You can click through and find whatever tutorial you would like. So that's a quick overview on extruded cuts and extruded boss bases. Um, if you have any questions, you can post a question to our Facebook page here, facebook.com slash jocoengineering. Send me a question, jocoengineering at, excuse me, jocoengineeringhelp at gmail.com here. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you soon. Please subscribe because it really helps me out a lot, and see you next time.